Attention, Knights of the Brick Table, tis I, Studlord, with a message for all the land. Whilst last week we looked at the castles coming over the next couple of years, today I've rounded up the top 10 LEGO Ideas medieval sets that never got made. Despite the huge fan support, LEGO rejected them. So, from worst to best, let's check them out. In number 10 spot is the Medieval Alchemist, and whilst it's lowest on my list, it's still a cool looking set. I've ranked these through the level of support that they had during the voting process and my own opinion, but let me know in the comments how you'd rank all of these. As for this one, it takes me back to spending way too many hours gaming, particularly on RPGs where visiting the likes of the Apoca 3 would mean having to grind away for ages to earn enough coin. Now, I really like some of the details, like the water wheel that operates, the smoke in the chimney, something that reminds me of the Hocus Pocus Cottage LEGO released more recently, and I know we just had the town square, but with having had the medieval blacksmith, which was a different scale, I kinda now want other sets like this to go with it. <laughs> that said, my wallet definitely doesn't, so perhaps it's best LEGO rejected this after all. In spot number 9 is the Castle of Brickwood Forest. This compact modular castle was a good design, giving story and space to the Black Falcons, Lion Knights and Forestmen, which opened out to reveal a nicely detailed interior to match the superb exterior facade. My favourite bit though is definitely the double horse-drawn carriage. Then in number 8 is the King's Castle. I really like how this is set atop a rough cliffside above the water, and I'm just imagining having an invading horde approaching on boats whilst bowmen fire down from the ramparts. Cut down the middle, this really needed to be twice the size to create an incredible modular castle, and I can understand why LEGO probably vetoed this one. But what a cool idea it is, and I'm a bit sad that, short of mocking something together, this isn't a set we can own. As for number 7, I've chosen the Medieval Tavern, and not because I have an ongoing love affair with wines, meads and ales, but simply as it is a pivotal set for any true castle world setup. I think some of the detail for the brickwork and tiles is fantastic, and beyond being a cool display piece, this just shouts out great play to me as well. Moving on, in number 6 spot is the Castle in the Forest. Whilst this lacks some pizzazz compared to others, the various secret rooms and little details really make this stand out. The designer has also paid a nice homage to some sets of the past, with the blue roofed house and tree with a big hole coming from set 6054, the Forestman's Hideout, and the secret cave and balcony being a nod to 6066, the camouflaged outpost, and of course the main entrance and tower inspired by the Forestman's River Fortress in set 6077. Now though, we hit number five, and it's this, the Medieval Fortress, a spectacular fantasy castle set. Just look at those towers. I mean, this is crying out for an epic siege scene with lots of battle going on. I mean, apparently the designer did it so that the different levels could easily come apart. And of course it does open out to make play all the easier, but also just how great does this look? I feel robbed not having this on display. Then in spot number four is the Witch House, and this is one of my favourites. Just look at the shape, the texture, the colours, it's brilliant. The foliage is wonderful too. This really looks like a cottage you'd find in the middle of a forest, occupied not by a wicked witch, but by a Wiccan or a Pocketry. The tree here is so much better than what Lego usually come out with, as I take serious umbrage with how they make trees look lifeless. This looks great and the interior of the building is also filled with cool details, and I'm frankly appalled LEGO rejected this. The river waterfall doesn't look great to me, I think that could have been better, but the idea of it actually taking the build over the edge of a table or shelf or wherever you're displaying it, that is awesome. But now the top three, with the medieval watermill in third place. This just looks spectacular to me, with a wonderful shape and so much cool texture and colours going on. The level of detail that has gone into this deserves a round of applause in my opinion. I think this would seriously complement any medieval setup, and frankly, shows up a lot of the recent sets LEGO has officially released. Overall, it's been made to offer awesome play and be a super cool display. Then in number two position is the Forestman Secret Inn. Now, I'll be honest, I prefer the Forest Stronghold that we're getting in Series 3 of the Bricklink Designer Program. That said, this was a compact set that opened up into a great little hideout for everyone's favourite minifigs in green tights. It would certainly have been a lot better than the little GWP LEGO gave us, which, although I'm 
pleased to have is hardly a fitting tribute to the Forestmen. But now it's time for number one, the castle of Lord Athol and the Black Knights. This incredible looking set, which was submitted before LEGO came out with the Lion Knights castle, which does seem to share certain design elements, well, this was designed by Sleepless Knight, who obviously just found tremendous success with the Mountain Fortress on Series 1 of the Bricklink Designer Program. This castle is what I dreamt of building as a child. It looks simply beautiful. The detail is simply superb, and it's packed with fun and tongue-in-cheek elements, like this quiet torture chamber. That's really funny. And at 3,000 pieces, this was a sizable castle that wasn't ridiculous. It would have been a decent price point and not taken too much space, whilst being simply incredible to look at and play with. Now, I did pre-order a Mountain Fortress from Bricklink, and I'm looking forward to it. It looks great, but in several ways, I think I prefer this, and it's an absolute travesty that LEGO turned it down. But that is, of course, just my choices. What do you agree with me on? What do you disagree with? Do you wish that any of these had actually been accepted by LEGO and made into actual sets? Let me know down below, and of course, like, subscribe, join the channel as a member for almost indecent levels of pleasure, and thanks for watching. Watching. Catch you on the next one.